Hey guys, welcome back to Just Pillin' Barbecue. Where have you been? Alright folks, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, and that's what this video is going to be about. How come it's taken me so long to make another video, what's been going on, and what's going on with my channel. So first of all, I want to thank everybody that has sent me messages and stuff like that asking me, you know, how come you haven't made any more, more videos, please make some more videos, uh, ask me if everything's okay, and all of that. So I just want to say thanks to everybody out there that sent me messages and uh, was asking, you know, what was going on and making sure I was, I was good. So I appreciate all of that. And I want to apologize to you for it taken so long to make another video. Uh, I think it's been probably since May uh, that I made my last video. But around the end of May, I uh, just wasn't feeling really good. Um, didn't really have any motivation to do anything. Really tired, just wanted to come home, sit in a chair and, and sleep or not do anything. I didn't feel good. Uh, Mentally, I, I didn't feel real good, kind of foggy. My memory was kind of uh, screwing with me a little bit, and I just didn't feel good. I felt like crap. I didn't feel like doing anything. I didn't feel like making videos. I really wasn't cooking anything. Um, wasn't hanging out in the back backyard on the weekends, and just generally didn't feel good. So I let stuff rock on for a couple of months, and finally went to the doctor, and. Uh, by the way, if you hear some noise, that's Sam. He's a new addition to the Smith family. I rescued him last weekend. I was helping my brother cook at a farm day event over at a hardware store, and the uh, Humane Society was right beside us, and he was in a cage. And so I saved him and brought him home. He's a 93-pound pointer, uh, pointer bulldog mix. So. He's a new addition. But uh, anyway, I finally went to the doctor, had some blood tests run, and we found out what the problem was. And so now we're in the process of getting it fixed, and I feel better. I feel great, actually. Um, so I would just encourage any of you out there that aren't feeling good, especially if you're, you know, over 40, 45, 50, uh, I'm 46. And you're not feeling well just go to the doctor get checked out uh, and maybe you'll find something that makes you feel better um, so that's what I did and uh, I mean I, I feel so much better now it's not even funny um, but also at that time I decided well you know if, if I'm fixing to get everything back on track I want to do it all the way so uh, I changed uh, our diet and I'm um, getting back in the gym. Uh, we've been back, going back to the gym and, and kind of the whole diet change thing. This is probably about eight weeks now. And man, I feel so much better. Um, you gotta take care of yourselves, that's the bottom line. You gotta take care of yourselves. And um, you know, as much as I love this channel and everything, I wanted to take the time for me to get myself back where it needed to be uh, and start doing those things first. And so now that I'm kind of on track and I've got a schedule kind of going and, and all that, I feel like I can start this channel back up and, and uh, start making some more videos. Believe it or not, doing this does take a lot of time, you know, it, when you're cooking and you're planning to cook and you're trying to get, you know, the filming right and editing and all that stuff. and. It does take a lot of time, and so um, I want to do it right, but I also want to take care of me as well. So right now I've got a Boston butt on there, and we're going to uh, eat that the rest of the weekend. But um, but another good thing about this whole process has been that my wife decided, you know, if I was going to do it, then, then she might as well do it too. And and man, she's feeling good about herself and, and uh, a little more confident about the way she looks and everything so far and you know I think it's benefiting both of us and we go to the gym we work out together and 
You know, I like that. I think it makes us, brings us a little closer and um, we're eating the same things. As far as diet goes, uh, we've started doing a keto type diet, which means, uh, if you're not familiar with that, uh, a ketogenic diet is where you eliminate, basically you eliminate carbs, you know, sugars, bread, pastas, things like that. Um, and I won't go into a whole lot of detail. If you'd like me to go into a little more detail about the, the ketogenic diet, leave me a comment in the, in the description box below and I'll do a video on it and kind of what we're eating and that kind of thing. Um, you know, it's been, it's been difficult at times. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna lie because we love bread. We love bread. And I love pasta too. Uh, but I love the idea of getting myself, my mind, my body back to where it used to be a lot more than I love bread and pasta. And that's the bottom line. You know, I've been where some of you are, where, you know, well, if you want to do this, you got to give up this, you got to give up that. And I was like, I ain't giving that up. But that's because I had not reached the point to where my health was more important than all the junk. Um, I have reached that point now to where I want to start taking myself, taking care of myself a little bit better. And that's more important to me than, you know, eating four breadsticks with supper or something like that. Um, beer, I still like drinking beer, but I haven't, my beer budget has gone way down. And now I'm drinking ultras. Uh, they taste pretty good. And, you know, I don't have to feel guilty about drinking a couple of them and on the weekends, you know, and, and so that's good. As far as the meats go, I can still cook. I'm fixing to eat the crap out of this Boston butt right here when it gets done. Um, because the main thing with keto is getting your fat, fats in. I'm eating, you know, uh, almonds and pecans and uh, cashews and, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's your olive oils, your coconut oils, your grass fed butters, those kinds of things. Um, as well as some animal fats and so that's what we're trying to do incorporate the fats eat very minimal carbohydrates and then fill in that gap with proteins and so that's that's really what we've been doing um, I can definitely tell a difference I had really put on the pounds body fat wise in my belly especially um, and throughout this process um, I can tell it just the way my jeans fit um, I have been getting on the scale about once a week once or twice a week just to use it as a guide but you know I, I got some advice from a buddy of mine uh, Josh who's actually with uh, Ben at, at the watchman stove and um, he said you know that that number on that scale is just a number you know you used to use your pants how they fit as more of a guide, how your shirts fit, how you feel, your belt, you know. Sorry, that smoke, I might have to move in a minute. Although it does smell really good. But I'm on my last hole on, on my belt. Um, hadn't seen that in a long time. So I'm, I'm feeling better. The, the number on the scale has changed probably, probably eight to 10 pounds, probably eight pounds I would say. But I know I've also put on a little muscle too from just going to the gym and we, I've been keeping a log and kind of measuring, you know, my, my belly line and my chest and arms and stuff. And so I know that I've lost fat and put on some muscle, but the net of that is about eight pounds as far as what the scale says. So I'm feeling really good. Um, and now I'm excited to get back to my channel. So what can you expect from my channel going forward? I'm still going to cook the same kinds of stuff, you know, uh, pork butts, ribs, you know, all kinds of things. Uh, and I'll also probably do some side dishes on here. But they're going to, the side dishes are going to be obviously more keto friendly. Um, the meats 
are really going to be the same as they always have been, except instead of using like sugary barbecue sauces and stuff like that, I'm going to try to come up with some uh, more keto-friendly sauces, marinades, that kind of thing to go along with this stuff. Uh, but I think it's going to be fun. If you have any more questions about what I'm doing, you know, to kind of try to get my health back on course, uh, you know, shoot me a, a line in the description box below and, and I'll be sure to reply to you. Also, I know that a lot of people have sent me messages about different videos and I haven't gotten back to them just because, like I say, I just didn't want to, I didn't want to mess with it. I'm going to try to start getting back on there and start answering those questions uh, that y'all have put on there. And I appreciate everybody's comments. And uh, so I'm going to try to go back and answer all the comments that I can. Uh, so I think that's about it. I'm looking forward to getting back into it. And I appreciate your support so much. Uh, if there's anything that I can do, any questions that I can answer, just please leave them in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I appreciate every single subscriber. And until next time, I'll be fiddling. And, uh... But it's good fats. It's fats from your nuts. It's fats from your 